bit of my career story. I'm going to tell you bits and pieces throughout my life so that I, my hope is that at the end, it all comes together and makes sense. I'm from San Diego, California. And at 19, I became a mom. I always worked at a corporate job. And when my, when my daughter turned four, my job moved to Tucson, Arizona. So we moved and I got promoted because instead of my work ethic, I was going to be the CEO's assistant. And part of that job was to travel. I say this because I went to different countries, I went to many different states, but one of my trips to Las Vegas is where I met my husband, Sandra. I, I moved, we were in a long distance relationship because he was from Chicago, but two years into that relationship, we made it official and moved in together and started our family, which we're a blended family. We have four kids and a grandson. So now Chicago has been my home for 12 years. Now I understand that verse, Jeremiah 29, 11, that says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. But then I didn't know this. My job, seven years ago, moved to a different state, but this time, my, my husband and kids didn't want to move. So Sandra joined the BNI business uh, group, and he met my sponsor, Kelly. She shared the business with him, and Sandra's great with numbers, he's a great salesperson, a big dreamer, and always on the go, go, go. Me? Not so much. <laughs> he told me about the business, and I said, no, not interested. Well, then I lost my job. And he says, babe, you have to do a show. I said, I didn't have time to do a show. I'm looking for a job. He says, I found you a job. <laughs> I said, really? What? He says, you're going to be a jewelry lady. I said, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't wear jewelry. Yes. I only wore my wedding ring and maybe little 14 karat gold stud earrings that I had since I was a baby. <laughs> so he says, you're going to do this. I said, no, that made me very uncomfortable because I was outside of my comfort zone. And being uncomfortable and getting stressed sometimes makes us upset, so I have to admit. He was very persistent and said, babe, you got this, I'm gonna help you. So when you know somebody's helping you, you feel comfortable and you don't feel afraid because somebody's there with you. I said, hmm. I don't know about that, but it took him three months to convince me because he had already given her a date for me to have a show. <laughs> Actually, that was my training show date. <laughs> See, he's a spontaneous. I'm a processor. It's funny how that puts people together that don't sometimes match. He, um, I didn't tell anything or believe that I can do this business because I never saw that growing up, that my parents did this type of work. So they showed me how to work hard, but always for someone else. Not me believing I can have my own business or be my own boss. Having goals or planning future dreams was unheard of growing up. So Sandra was persistent that when he said, let's do this, I said, fine, we'll make it fun. I like fun. And I'll stop until I find a real job. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. 
I joined Crimea on March 2013, and I was invited to come to Haven of Hope that September. Since my warm circle family of friends had already done shows for me, I said this is the right time to go and learn how to sell this and do this business, being six months into Premier. At Haven, we met wonderful people. They loved on us, trained us, served us, prayed for us. I heard about the Bible, and when I came to the home office, I saw what Premier was all about. That helped me see with different eyes. I encourage you, if you get an invitation to do something like that, take it, don't be afraid. Go, because you never know what God has planned for you. My life, it's instantly changed because I joined Premier since I needed money, but I also learned how to be a business person. My confidence grew, my self-esteem, and I made wonderful friends and I earned free trips. But for a long time, I felt I needed something because one thing that I got from Haven in the home office was just hearing about God and learning about having a relationship with Jesus Christ. That feeling was amazing because I had never felt that before. I started to have a real relationship with Jesus and this got me to be more passionate and intentional about sharing Premier with everyone. I believe every single person needs Premier. God knew I did. Three years into Premier, one of my jewelers and I were going to a Premier training and she noticed I was not myself and it was because I needed a miracle. I needed God to do something for my family. She prayed for me and invited me to go to a prayer meeting that Tuesday night. I know how the enemy works now, trying to get us distracted by getting excuses. And all of a sudden, I felt like I wanted to clean the house. <laughs> I wanted to do laundry and make those phone calls that are not easy in our business sometimes. But Premier's philosophy, purpose, and plan came to mind that God and family and then my business was more important. I needed God to do a miracle. So I needed to make a change, but I needed to start making changes in my life. I went to this prayer meeting January 5th, 2016. And I, when I walked in that church, I felt amazing, like never before. I cried. It was an ugly cry, but it felt so good. <laughs> when I came home, I told Sandro, babe, we need to go to that church on Sunday. He says, no, look at you. I look horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but that feeling was so amazing. And I said, babe, I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. We must go. He agreed and we went. So glory be to God for him to say yes to go. Just kind of like Andy. <laughs> Our life is not perfect. But we are better because we have Christ in our hearts. Yes, I struggle a lot. A lot of things. But because I choose to pray and run to God for help, my worries don't overwhelm me like before. My peace and joy is sweeter because my faith and trust is stronger. Psalm 56, 3 says, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Yeah, Tim. <laughs> On the same page. Being the oldest of three and first generation here in the U.S., I often had to learn things on my own, like going to preschool, learning how to speak English. So many traditions in our culture are so different from what my parents were used to. 
So me asking for help was not normal. I'm thankful to God. And he showed me that asking for help doesn't mean you're weak. It just means you're wise. I mean, even Jesus needed help, and that's how he found his disciples. Andy and Joe needed help to enrich many lives and get to me. And that is why we are all here. Because someone took time to share Premier's gift with us. In Premier, we are a family, and right now you're all helping me. Grow and overcome this giant fear to talk on stage. <laughs> Well, I was going to be a single mom, move to different states, and be a jewelry lady. Because Proverbs 16.9 says, In your heart you may plan your course, but the Lord determines your steps. Believe and trust that God is good. He is faithful. He is love. And he will help you. I thank you all for your time. I thank you. I thank Jesus for loving me and being here with me and everyone that prayed for me because you guys were a big giant, but courage conquers giants. Yeah. I thank you.